patriots, it has been 10 years since those bastards deposed our leadership. We must all take an oath to fight for the Ming Dynasty. I want all of your full support. Our society has been blessed with a new supporter. We need all the help we can get for the restoration to succeed. Let him come forward to the altar. Join us ceremonially. Confirm your allegiance to the Ming Patriots by adding your name to our list with your own blood. He is now with us. Long live the Ming! Long live the Ming! I can accept that it is a praiseworthy idea to try to restore the Ming Dynasty, but this is by no means the right time. I don't understand what the hell you're saying. What do you mean? I didn't think that you would confess your involvement. Well, you know why I'm wearing a mask, don't you? I may have to kill you. You won't restore the Ming when you're dead. <laughs> I'm too old to worry about my own life. I would never ask you to spare something that's nearly finished. We're not after your life. Do you think that we could be bothered with that, you goddamn fool? What do you want with me then? My knowledge? We want the list written in blood. What list? What list's that? Old man, don't make me have to search your dead body for that list. I don't have a list. You would kill me for no reason. How do you expect me to give you something that I do not have? You want me to stain my sword with your blood? <laughs> so, you would murder an old man for the sake of a piece of paper? Who are you? <laughs> I'm known as the Lotus Man. You remember that until you die. God damn it! Get the bastard! Man, wait! Hm. 
Now, you've come a long way, young man, to marry my daughter. Our two families are old friends. Still, I'm glad you made the journey. My father said that you... that you're a good man. And now I know for myself that he was right. Well, you flatter me. My father told me that your daughter looks a lot like you. Huh. She must be very beautiful. Uh, am I right? I would like to see her. <laughs> Can one of you come in? Yes, sir. It's all right, you can sit down. Go and fetch my daughter. Yes. Sit down. Here is your fiance. My daughter, he'll be your husband. My father asked me to take her home to meet him as soon as we are married. We should put the marriage off just for a short while because of some trouble in my household. I hope you will understand. You will make yourself at home while you're here, my son. Oh, don't you worry. My father told me that I could stay here as long as I pleased. Good. You must be tired. Chung Chung, take him to his room. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ho Ying! Ho Ying! I am here, sir. Mr. Lee will be arriving soon from Nanking. You had better get things ready for him. All right? Yes, sir. True? Of course, sir. I've also heard that the prince is staying at the temple. He is like a rat in a trap. No. Don't be too sure of that. But we do not have to be all that careful. We could kill him right now. But what about that old Zen master? Well, we could kill them both at the same time. Maybe this is not the right time. We should check it out. One of you must find out what is happening at the temple. You better go. Sir. There is little time to be lost. You must leave China immediately. Are you sure? I absolutely have to leave the country to live in safety. You must leave. Otherwise, your enemies will kill you, and that will be a loss to us all. Do you think that it's worth it for us to continue to try to restore the Ming? Nothing is more worthy than your own goal, Prince. Only I can lead the people back to governing themselves? Only I can do it? Yes. You are the one chosen for this task. You must not fail. Then I must stay in China. This is not the right time for your restoration. If I am to leave now, then very many people are going to be left without a leader. If you make a mistake, then a lot of innocent people are also going to be left without even their own lives. Now is the time for you to go. So, Master, when is it going to be time, then? You will know it, then, for yourself. You must be patient. In time comes everything. Amida Buddha.
forefathers, give me a sign. How long should I wait? Who are you? Long live the me. Restoration. Yes. Why, you're Prince Lee. I've been waiting for so long for some news. Sir, the leader is waiting for you quite close by. Good. I have been looking forward to speaking with him. Where is he? I will take you there. Welcome, Prince. Thank you all. It is indeed a pleasure to be here. Your Highness, why did you not bring your younger brother? I have sent him already to the appointed place. Has he not yet arrived there? No. I wonder why. Patriots, you promised to tell me who the third man on the list was. Can you tell me now? I would like to speak to him. Well, I... I have been tricked. Who are you? <laughs> You're indeed very clever. Although, you should not have found out about us. Now you know our real identities, I'm afraid we cannot allow you to live. You see, I am not satisfied with being the best warrior in this area. I want promotion. You must give that list to me. You bastard. I may let you go if you say you will give me that list right now. Prince. Otherwise, I could kill you and collect the reward money on your head. I don't want to kill you. You better get out of here. You are the Lotus Man. Damn it. Get him.
Quickly, sir. Leave here. Better catch the prince. Hurry up. Yes, sir. Let's go. You. Why, you... <laughs> Long live the Ming. Restoration? What is the matter with you? Wang and his men are coming after me. God damn them. Quick, let's change our clothes so that then you will be safe. They'll get you. Mr. Chan! Hmm? No. Ah, ah. Are you all right? Are you all right? Don't you worry. I'm all right. But then why were you sleeping on the roof? Well, sir, I always take a nap on the roof in the afternoon. And why is that? Well, when I'm on a high place like that, I fall asleep because it's so comfortable. I should have told you so that you wouldn't have been frightened, huh? <laughs> Sir, now, when can I marry your daughter? Hmm? Now, I, I must have an answer soon. I've been making plans for us. All right. You go to the temple and get a date. Uh, are you sure, sir? Of course. You should go and see the Zen master at the temple and ask him his opinion on the day for the marriage. Should I go on my own? No, you follow Chung Chung. Ah, uh, no way. I can't follow a girl. I will take her along with me, sir. How dare you stop us? It's no use arguing with him. Why don't you go away? <laughs> My dear, it's a while since I've seen your beauty. Huh? I heard 
that you are getting married soon to an idiot. Is this one your idiot? Be quiet, you. Yeah, be quiet. You heard her. I am her fiance. <laughs> you are well matched. You are very clever. We are well matched. We will marry soon. You fool! You're damned rude! Chong Chong, I'm in disgrace. I turn out to be a bigger fool than he is. I have waited three years for your love. I... I have got everything. It's up to you to answer me. Will you say yes or no? No. I don't want to hear any of your nonsense. Get out of our way. You don't have to tell me now who you want. You can think it over. I will wait. I won't hurry you. I want you to be happy. <laughs> He's quite clever. I was about to teach him a lesson, and I would have killed him. <laughs> We're late. I don't think that anyone is here. That's strange. I wonder where he is. Preacher! 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 What a mess. This is very important to me. What a shame. Chung Chung, we should wait for him. I'm not going back. Let's go to the stream. He may be there. Right. the daughter of His Excellency Kang, and I am her fiancé. Kang's your father? You know father? <laughs> but of course. Are you all right now? Would you do me a favor, kind lady? Who are you? I I'm your prince. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't know. Please forgive me. For Give me, I had no idea. <laughs> I am not really dressed properly. <laughs> Where did the prince go? If he runs into them, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Is there another problem you may have forgotten to tell me about before? Yes, there's a group of our men who've been threatening our society. Damn them. Have you had any encounters with any of these men? Yes, I did on my way home from the last meeting. I was saved, though, by a man called Lotus. How dare he use wood as flower? Master, he is really a very good man. He is on our side. At least he saved my life. I could not have survived the day without him. I would most certainly be dead. I cannot accept someone using the flower of peace and tranquility as a symbol of death. I still think that he must be a good man. One capable of helping us to win our battles. We must do something quickly to save the prince. Otherwise, he will be killed. You're right. The prince's purpose must be to try to make contact with those rebels. But the list is more valuable. You must make sure we get it. How about searching the leader's house? You idiot! You go do something like that, then you'll blow your cover! 
You must use your status within the actual group itself. Leave it to me, sir. No, it's no use your doing anything. We must be subtle. Chung Chung. Give this message to General Mao. Make sure you don't lose it, my dear. Yes, father. I'll take it. It's all right. A stranger couldn't do it. Tell him that I will join him very soon. Yes. Be careful. You stay here. No. I should escort you. I can take care of it. No one will suspect a girl. That is why my father sent me. Now go in. In that case, my fiancé, I will wait for you here. You will try to come back soon now, won't you? Huh? Won't you? I must go. use the flower of Buddha as your symbol. I do not kill with that symbol. I save life with it. You should not kill one man, even if you may save ten by doing so. You will soon see the truth of what I have been saying, my friend. I must go. What makes you come here? My father sends this. Thank you. Where is your father? He told me he will be coming here soon. I know. You had better go before nightfall. Yes. Don't move! Damn you! What do you want with her? Do as I tell you, or we'll... Chung Chung, 
I should go and find your father. You go home alone. Yes. Don't worry. You take care. Yes. Beyonce? Oh. Are you all right? My life was saved by a mysterious man. I told you, I should have come along to protect you. The Lotus Man was the one who saved me from death. Lotus Man? Uh, who is he? Never mind now. Let's go. Lotus again. I will kill that bastard. I will not put up with it. There is only one man who can beat me with these damned excellent kung fu. Maybe he's... Who is he? I... will be back much later. Why did you come here? You heard me coming. That means you're still very good. That's right. I could still beat you any day. But what I want to know is why you've come all this way just to see me. My friend, I need someone killed. Can you do it for me? If I pay your price? Hmm. I don't think I'm interested. Okay. I admit that you're better than me at fighting, my friend. But I need you... to help me kill someone... who's been a thorn in my side for many weeks now. Damn. You know I don't like to ask. If you don't like to ask me, then don't, my friend. You know what kind of a man I am. Don't you annoy me. Don't ever try to tell me what to do, my friend, or you'll die. All I want from life is peace and quiet. No more fighting. I'll give you a hundred tails in gold if you help to kill that interfering Bastard, my friend. It is not very much my friend. <laughs> okay, 500. I am after something much more important than gold. You would be much better off killing him by yourself. expecting you. The leader asked me to give you a message. The prince is here. My brother? Yes. We must go and find him so that we can all talk. Shall we go, sir? Let's go.
influence of my Dolent Hardship. Brother, you have grown since I saw you last. <laughs> Your Highness, the leader is waiting for you both. All right, let's go. Yes. Long live the Ming. Restoration! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Who are you? We've had a spy in your group for a long time. You will not get away with this rubbish. We already have. God damn you! Don't get angry. I owe you a debt of gratitude for making me a viceroy in this province. <laughs> <laughs> the right place, General. This is the place, but he has gone. <laughs> you are helpless. Give up right now. We've been caught in their trap. You must get away. I'm going to kill them. You'll be slaughtered. <laughs> One last chance. I'll spare your lives if you tell me where the list is. However, if you don't tell me, then I will ransom you to the Ming Patriots for gold. What do you think? Tell me. All right. What's that? Listen, life's more important than anything. Oh, uh, what do you think you're talking about, brother? Leave everything to me. You're mad. <laughs> Young man, you're the more sensible. There is one condition. Brother! Anything you want at all. Just tell me what it is. You will have it. Well, release my brother. God damn you, what the hell are you thinking of? You bastards! Will you let me go? Let me go! I'm a prince! <laughs> there, I've 
kept my promise to you, my friend. Now tell me where the list is. I will. So there. Hmm. I pity you. You are about to find out what it's like in hell. You damn bastard. One day you will regret that you've murdered a prince. Charles! Sure. Ah! Huh? The Lotus Man! Thank you very much for your help, Lotus Man. I am very grateful. I am truly thankful. Don't mention it. Come, let's be going. I should go back and help my brother. There is no time for that. But he... he may do something stupid to save me. He's not that kind of a person. Let's go now. should have been content just to ransom this royal bastard. We were attacked. Lotus Man rescued the prince. What's that? Don't you worry. We have some more bait. Man, your luck is in decline. You don't seem to realize the trouble that you're in. Why don't you stop resisting my wishes? Why don't you give me that list and then you can walk away a free man? I have treated you very well, old man. Come, tell me where it is. Tell me where that list is hidden, or I shall be forced to hurt your defenseless little daughter. Where is the list, old man? I don't know. What's that? Get up, man! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
so much. You should learn to forget what's happened in people's pasts. What are you talking about? I think you should give him a chance. Otherwise he will never be able to prove his love for you. It's up to you. You ought to try asking him for help. A woman's beauty is not in her face, but in her mind. I want to be a beautiful wife. But we need no one but you to protect us against all our troubles. I wish that maybe I could know your identity. You trust me very much. Of course, I do. Please, will you save my father? I will do anything for you. I will save your father for you. If you think again about your marriage to that idiot,
darling. Huh? Yes? Darling, don't worry about your father. I may seem an idiot, but darling, I have hidden abilities which no one knows about. I must be going. Be careful. What are you doing here? You saved me. Daughter. <gasps> Father. Thank you. What are you doing here? Aren't you afraid for your father? I shall go and rescue him. Huh? You? I shall come back with your father, so prepare something for us to eat. <gasps> Don't go! You may be killed! Don't worry. I'm no fool. I'll be back in a very little while. See you soon. <gasps> be careful! idiots, the old man's son-in-law. Oh, right. That is true. I am the old man's son-in-law. Well, what were you doing sneaking around here? <laughs> well, I should go back to Chung Chung with her father. Could you give him back to me now? You're a little wanting, aren't you, young man? Uh, right, sir. I, I want to have my father-in-law now. He is useful. Because of Lois, we can't get a girl. We now have him. We can use him as bait. Hmm, good idea. Hey, you are now a bait for your fiancé. But, but bait is only used for fishing, isn't it? Well, that being the case, then I'm the world's greatest fisherman, yes? Oh! Uh, can I go home now? Uh, let me go. What do you think you're doing? Let me go. 
<laughs> let me go. What do you think you're doing? Will you let me go? Oh. What are you doing? You men, come along with me. Now. Once again, this one's a fake. Something's wrong. What is wrong? The character of this Lotus is strange. Sometimes he kills, other times he doesn't. Hmm. They may not be the same person. Two Lotuses. Buddha bless you. I wonder whether you have time for a moment to discuss something very important. Lotus saved my life earlier, and now I think it's time the society showed a little more trust in him by letting him guard the list. I will guard it with my life. First, you must show us your real character so that we may know something more about you. Like, where do you come from? I'm afraid I cannot tell you, sir. You seem to be very secretive about who you are. I have to be. <laughs> Amida Buddha. Why do you imitate me? I was just about to ask you the same question. Stay there. Let me talk to you. What are you looking for? The chance to destroy what you're doing. At least you're an honest man now. Maybe we should fight. The loser removes his mask. I think there's little point in that, my friend. Who are you? And why are you doing this to me, you bastard? You must be mad. To walk around trying to impersonate other people and thinking you'll get away with it. <laughs> and who says that I'm not going to convince everyone I'm Lotus? <laughs> give you quite so easily if you decide you want to imitate me a second time. see you on urgent business. I hope you're not going to advise me not to marry my fiancé. What? What are you talking about? Anyway, Lotus Man, what do you want me to do now? You must go to the temple. Whatever do you want me to go there for? Your father is waiting for you. Really? Are you quite sure? Yes, now hurry up. Thank you. <laughs> What's wrong? Why don't you go to him? I've already arranged for his safe escape from China. You'd better go. Lotus Man, please protect him from those people who want to murder him. What do you mean? 
You won't be going with him. I want to wait for my fiance. <laughs> you would wait for the fool? You'll be all right. Who would ever want to kill such a harmless idiot? Don't you say that. I am not going to leave here, and you cannot and will not stop me from staying. I am sorry. I will make a point to make sure that your fiancé comes back to you in one piece. Can you promise me? Once I have completed an important task, I will find your fiancé and make sure he is <gasps> safe. Thank you very much. I will go to the temple at dawn and wait for my fiancé there. We will go when he comes. Don't you worry. I will keep the promises I have made to you. Goodbye. And why hasn't she come here? Maybe she's given up on that goddamn idiot. She's bound to try something, I'm sure. This plan may fail. We have to try a last resort. What is that, my lord? We will send the girl her fiancé's damned head. Come on. You imbeciles, get him! He will die for this. You mean that I should not go and wait for my fiancé? No, I will wait for him. All right, we will do as you have suggested, Father. Anyway, the Lotus Man said he would take care of my fiancé. That is good. Lotus Man keeps his word. Why has he not come to the temple? Is it because he is busy trying to get Prince Lee out of the country? That is right. If he comes here, then it will spoil all of our hard planning. You were right. The plan has to work properly. I understand. My friend. We must make sure nothing happens to the prince or the restoration will be finished forever. He must escape this country. Of course. Jojo, you go with your father. I'm sure that you will find your fiancé where the prince is now staying. Yes. You'd better take the list with you for the prince to see. I'll take care of it, master. We'd better be going. You have just come in time. Old oh, man, all of your family is assembled here. Except for your idiot son-in-law. <laughs> and you get out of our way right now. And why should I? You're far too stubborn. I must teach you a lesson. You wouldn't dare. Old man, I want that list. And I will get it. No matter what I have to do to get it from you. Hold them. You let go of me right now! Damn you! What do you think you're doing? <gasps> I want the list right now. And you're going to give it to me. Otherwise... Otherwise, you're all going to die. You'd better give it to me right now. Now! Don't give in! I don't care if they kill me, Father! Don't let them get the list or many people will die! Fool! Damn you! You will not get away with this. The Lotus Man will see to that. You've made me. Kill her!
You've arrived just at the right moment. Get him! Yes! <laughs> Amida Oda. <laughs> You're fantastic, Lotus Man. He is not Lotus. What do you mean by that? Lotus would never kill. If he had a way out from doing so, I know him. You're very clever. I've wanted you, dear. Always, but you don't care for me. You should make up your mind. Do you want the idiot? How dare you pretend to be Lotus? What do you want? Your daughter. Damn you. Chong Chong, do you love me? Answer me carefully. I love you with all my heart, and I would give up everything just to be with you. Get away from here. Why don't you get out of my life? Chung Chung, you heard what my daughter said. You'd better get away from this place before the real Lotus Man comes to get you. My daughter Chung Chung's already engaged. I do not want to live without Chung Chung's love. I'm a dead man without the love of your daughter. Don't be so stupid, young man. She has already said that she does not want you at all. Join your father. <laughs> Lotus man, we must fight to the death. One of us must win. We shall see who it will be. <laughs> you should see my face before I kill you.
so you are the Lotus. Be careful. Don't fight with him. He may kill you. Chung Chung, don't you worry about me fighting this scum. God damn you. It's a pity I couldn't find out your identity earlier. You could be a good man, but you do not want to change. Now I must kill you, as you've killed many others.
The Shaolin priests have obviously taught you well. What did they want? Japan grows stronger day. It's only a question of time now before they begin to invade our country. Then somehow we have to stop them. 
However, our only line of defense is to wait for them by the river. We will catch them at their weakest point. Hmm. I know every part of it, where all the shallows are and where it suddenly gets deep. And so I want you to draw a map of what I tell you. Every detail must be clearly defined. There must be no room for error. The most appropriate place to launch the counterattack is in the shallow water. I want you to take this map and see that it gets to our army so they can prepare the ambush in time. It must be done secretly. I cannot warn you strongly enough. I know how much depends on this mission. And you know that if the Japanese do catch you, they're bound to try to make you talk. But you mustn't even tell your family. You have sworn me to secrecy, Abbott. I am bound to obey you. Thank you. And may Buddha be with you always. And may you go in peace. Father, this is the third time those gangsters have tried to break into our house. What is it they are after? Haven't you ever seen bees swarm around the honeypot? Anyway, I am more than confident you can cope with your Shaolin Kung Fu. It's my guess. You're hiding something from me. Hitting late. Time we both turned in. Awake yet? Yes, I'm coming. Oh, Master, good morning. You slept well? <laughs> Why do you have to wear those awful clothes? Why don't you wear some other clothes for a change? <laughs> oh, but I like these clothes and I feel comfortable in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a strange girl. Ask Kim or Cam to come here now. They've already gone off to their work. You know what they're both like up at the crack of dawn. Hmm. Well, in that case, you can take this letter to Mr. Lee yourself. I want him to get it right away. Yes, Master. <laughs> oh, uh, don't you want me to make breakfast first? I don't mind waiting for my breakfast. Now just do what I say. Yes, but your son will be back at any moment. What about him? Never mind about him. He'll wait, too. This letter is more important than our stomachs. Yes. Don't you think that it's a little bit early to be begging? Hmm. Hmm? We've an urgent message for the master. Oh, all right. Wait a minute, then. Okay, the master will see you now. The abbot is amazing. He considers everything. How were we supposed to have known what was going to happen last night? It was a shock. He has ordered us to be your escort until you reach safety. I see. Is that so? Even your family will have no idea where you are until the map's finished. Mm. Yes, I understand. We must go now. I am grateful to the abbot for his concern. It touches me deeply. Uh, 
don't you want me along to cook your food for you? There is no need. You can tell my son that I will be away a short while. I will be coming back in a few days. Yes. Uh, where shall I tell him you are going? None of your business. Uh, yes, master. My father gone. Oh, he just went out for a while. He'll be back. Did he say where he was going? Uh, he didn't, but he left here with two nuns. I think they're from the Shaolin Temple. Shaolin nuns? Yes. That's right. They brought a letter from the abbot. But at least I think they did. I couldn't hear what they said. Are you sure? Yes. Did father say how long he would be away? He said he would be back in a few days or so. following me. Uh, what is it that you want from me? Speak up. I want you to answer my question. You're a Japanese agent. Come clean, admit it. Allow me to introduce myself to you. The name is Harumar. I am the chief of Japanese Special Intelligence. I'm here on a mission. What is it you want? You have no business kidnapping me. <laughs> well, I don't see any point in more games, so I'll speak frankly. And save us both a lot of time. I want the map of the river. Unless you hand the map over to me. Right now, I will be forced to kill you. Excuse me, but I don't know what you're talking about. I'm afraid you've made a dreadful mistake. <laughs> Do I have to repeat myself? Do you really take me for a stupid imbecile? We have already tried breaking into your house a few times. But your son caused us far too many delays, and he will pay dearly for obstructing us. I'm warning you again. I will never cooperate with you. <laughs> You'll cooperate. I'll answer for the consequences. Give me the map. <laughs> 
I would die first and betray my country to you. Aren't you concerned for the life of your son? My son is my only child. But if I had ten children, I would gladly sacrifice all of them. If it would help keep my country free from the tyranny of invaders, damn you. I want no more to do with you. I will not help you no matter what you say. Ah, come back. I'll look after him, keep an eye on him, but don't make him too comfortable. The old fool. Yuki, Mari. I want both of you to get the son of his to leave right now. Bring him back here. I don't care how you do it, but bring him back here, dead or alive. Talk or I'll slowly roast you alive. Now tell me, who told you to follow me? Nobody. Speak up. Who's behind you? Very well. Don't say I didn't warn you. No, don't. Please wait. I am Japanese, really. Now you're talking. What do you want with me? And what have you done with my father? Talk or you'll burn. He's safe. But where is he? A cave in the mountain. Oh. Who's there? So you must be the nuns. Well, now, since you stopped him from talking to me, you'll have to tell me instead. I want to know where this cave in the mountains is. Thank <laughs> you. 
he'll be blessed. my country. You are a stubborn old fool. And what have you achieved by your silence? What have you left if your son dies? Go ahead and talk. But whatever you say to me, you will never make me give it to you. You are just wasting your time. You're the stubborn fool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to get that map from you, even if I have to peel the skin from your face. Very soon, my men will bring your son in here. And then we'll see how you react to his agony when we start torturing him. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's you, come back. Oh. Sister has burned him in the fire. Oh. Later, you go and get him. Surely it can't be that difficult now. Since he has been wounded, he won't be able to fight back. Bring him here without delay. Yes, sir. And don't fail me, or I'll nail your eye to the wall. We cannot afford to waste more time. Rely on me, sir. Hey, 
Hey, who are you? What the hell are you doing outside our door? Can't you see you're blocking the entrance? Get away! What are you doing here anyway, huh? How get out of here? Oh, oh, hello, young master. What is going on here? Oh, it's nothing, young master. Just a crazy girl. She's coming right outside your door. Me? Uh, a crazy girl. I haven't done anything. Why do you look down on me? What have I ever done to you? Hey, you don't you answer me that. Mister, I don't know what you got into me, but you'd better take more care. Oh, hey, stop it. Now tell me who you are. Why should I say who I am? You dare not that kind of behavior. You're an insulting young girl, you are. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry if I'm rude. You must forgive me. It was not my intention. What is it? Well, I want to learn from your father how to become an artist. I know he's a great painter. My own father was one, too. And as he lay dying, he said to me that I was to make him a promise that I would learn from your father the secret of being a truly great painter. That's why I'm here at your step all day, unless your father agrees. Hmm. All right, I'll tell him. As soon as he gets back, but he's away at the moment. Why don't you come inside and wait for him then? Make yourself at home. You're very kind. It's nothing. I'll ask Father to take you out to the pupil. Oh, Buddha, we'll bless you. You're a good man, really. <laughs> it's only others who sometimes lead you astray. All right, that's enough. Now come inside. <laughs> now I know why you'll never be anything but a servant helping around the house. Uh, hey, don't be so mean to me. <laughs> Stupid, I'm only pulling your leg. Oh, it's you, miss. Uh, where have you been all this time? I went to get some medicine. Oh, that's not necessary now because the doctor's here already. What doctor? Oh, he's inside. He's just examining the young master before he cures him. <laughs> oh, my God. And he's inside now. My God. The burns have gone beneath the surface. I've never heard of needles before to treat a burn case such as this. Hmm, that's because you're an ignorant girl. I'm not. I've been a nurse. I've worked in a medical clinic for three years. And in all that time, I never saw needles used for burns. <sighs> What's more, you don't look like a proper doctor to me. What proof do you have you're a doctor? Huh? Look here, young girl. I will not be insulted by you. Hmm. I don't have to stay don't and listen so to rude. this. Don't be so rude. Speak nicely to the doctor. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Hey. <laughs> Let me see those needles. What? Why? Because those needles might have been dipped in poison. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> stupid young girl rumbled me when I was about to kill him. She came and asked to see my needles. Cursing her won't help you. I'm sure I don't have to remind you. The penalty for failure, damn it. Failure? What do you mean by the penalty? You know, don't you? Exactly what I mean. I do. No failure is ever accepted. But I didn't fail you totally, did I? He, he did faint. You didn't kill him, so you failed. Then let me try and explain. You'll know what'll happen to you. There's nothing you can do. But wait, I tried out everything I knew. I am following Hamura's orders. I will speak to him myself first. I don't believe you. There's no reason why I should be punished for this. I told you it wasn't my fault. You know, in our line of work, failure cannot be tolerated. You have no choice. You will have to commit suicide. But first, 
Let me talk to the boss. This has been a most terrible mistake. No! You're gonna have to die now. Ah, ah. Did you hear what he said, old man? Your son's been poisoned. We have the antidote to cure him. Now listen, this will be your last chance to give you the map, and your son's life can still be saved. Or I'll send some more men to finish him, eh? Huh? All right. Right, right. That bastard escape again. You all deserve to die. But it wasn't our fault. We were set upon by the Nash fighter. You miserable fools. Can you do nothing right? Uh, what on earth has been going on? Mr. Kane, thank you. You're safe, Esther. I ought to humbly thank you for what you did, you know. Eh? Uh, what? What? What's that, huh? I would never have guessed that you were the one. So you're the masked spider. Huh? Oh. Oh. You mean this mask? Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes it's necessary to conceal our identity. Huh. Hey, what's that you say? Oh. Uh, Are you certain that he's the masked spider? Oh, pity you missed it. You should have seen him fight like a demon. Oh. Why didn't you tell me before? Oh, oh. you must thank him properly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He saved young master's life for him. Mm. Thank him. Mm -hmm. Did you see him fight? Of course, I saw everything. No. Oh. Please forgive me. I thought that you just never realized before you're the masked fighter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 I must do my exercise. Thank you for last night. Oh, don't mention it. Uh, I was only doing my duty. Hmm. My uncle's a kung fu expert. The head teacher of the Shaolin monks. He taught me everything I know. Uh, that's where you learn. Uh, I knew that you had to have learned someplace. You just don't acquire skills like that overnight, you know? It takes ages to perfect. <laughs> uh, I have to start looking for my father. I'll start on it tomorrow. Would you like to come with me? Oh, of course I would. I'd be honored that my karate chop is at your disposal at all times. <laughs> oh, thank you. What 
fortune. Hey, what are you doing? If you don't come any further, I'll have to beat you up. be blessed. Cross me. You just watch me if I don't. Come on, then. What are you waiting for? Give them a taste of that karate chop you keep talking about. Go on. I'll be honest. I'm not really the mass fighter. What? What do you say? Do you mean that you lied to us? How could you do such a thing? I'm sorry. I've got to go. Hey, Ren. What is it? There's somebody outside wants to talk to you. Huh? Someone wants to see me? Yeah. Oh, that's peculiar. Well, did he tell you what it was all about, huh? He just asked to see you, that's all. Go ahead. Hey, if... You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I want a word with you. I've never met you. What do you want with me? Aren't you getting kind of tired of still being unmarried? 
That's none of your business. I don't have to put up with such impertinence from you. But I only want to help you. You're such a pretty girl. You must have lots of suitors. Hasn't anyone ever asked you to get married? Are you a suitor then? I shouldn't think any girl would want you, huh? Oh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you like, I could make you a fortune. Make me a fortune? Uh, well, what do you want me to do? All right, then I'll tell you. Just put this sleeping draft into your young master's drink last thing at night, and you'll be a very rich girl. Don't you want that? Are you kidding me? Why should I do a thing like that? Hey, 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 hold it, miss. Uh, let uh, go, let go. Uh, Kang just wants to test out my loyalty. But why do you have to make a fool out of me? The young master will sleep tonight. That's not gonna hurt him. Anyway, why pay me? I don't quite understand what crazy scheme you're up to. Neither do I care. If you don't believe me, I'll give you some money now to help you. It's not enough. I'd need more than that. What do you mean it isn't enough? <laughs> this is an advance, that's all. <laughs> You'll get much more in the end. When you've done your part, is it agreed? You'll give this to him? I couldn't possibly do it. Why not? Tell me. What will happen to me when they find out I've betrayed them? They're bound to condemn me to death. What use is money to me? If I am already dead, you answer me that. I would need some assurance that I am protected. Uh, nothing will happen to you. Really, I swear it on my honor. I don't know. How can I be sure that you can be trusted, huh? I already gave my word. What? What good is your word? Trust me. All right, I'll trust you. But only on one condition. Just name it. I want to have proof first that the father is going to go free, like you say. Uh, if you insist. All right, come with me. the lookouts who will let you pass through. We need their permission to proceed. Oh, but I don't... I don't understand what all this is about. And now, you'll have to be blindfolded. Uh, what are you doing to me? Now don't be afraid. Are you sure I'm going to get paid? Uh, don't worry, cause you will. Oh. All right, then. payment in advance. What do you intend to do with young master? Why should you worry? That's none of your business, girl. You just do as you're told. All right, then it's agreed. Uh, we just want him to persuade this stubborn old fool that it's in his best interest to talk to us. What are you cooking up with that girl? Stay out of it! You must leave here immediately, Mayran. This is no place for you. And afterwards, what will you do with the old man? Uh, you don't have to worry. We'll get rid of both of them. No problem. But the young master's precious to me. I want him to live. Nothing must happen to him. Oh. So you've fallen in love with him. What's wrong with that? I'm a woman, aren't I? <laughs> Do you understand? 
The money itself, not enough. Don't worry. You'll get more than that afterwards. It's agreed, then. You treacherous little bitch. Damn it. Is this how you repay my kindness? May you rot in hell. If I could, I'd kill you myself. You don't deserve to live. Master, I don't want to have to live in rags the rest of my life. Of course you don't. Listen, let us know when he falls asleep. Understand? What's this? Oh, what's wrong with you? Huh? <laughs> what on earth are you doing? That's none of your business. <laughs> if you ask me, uh, she, she, she's doing something really strange. Uh, uh, what's she doing? Any idea? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Tonight, be my guest in a little hunting, my friend. Crossed us out, get her? Damn her? That's right, All right double man. cross. <laughs> 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 Oh! 
again. Good. They run away. Wake up. I've been busy. Why, you two oaths have been sleeping. How dare you let me do all of the work. Oh, come on, you two, wake up. Now that took a lot of guts. Why that? Didn't you see he killed himself? Why did he do that? So that he wouldn't have to tell me where my fellow's being kept prisoner. But I know that. I just went there earlier today. Huh? Are you sure? Well, come with me. Right. Let me see this way. Hmm? That's right. You go through that way. Oh, oh no. They must have all gone in the night. How could they have moved so quickly? Are you absolutely huh? certain they were here? Of course I'm certain. What's more, your father was being held here as well. With an enormous spiked iron bowl above his head. Why should they have let you in here? Oh, I pretended to let them bribe. They brought me up here and blindfolded me. But I could still see a bit. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Do you think you can go up against them alone? If I'd been able to come along, things would have been very different. But I wanted to surprise you. I want you to like Shut me. Shut up! God's enough trouble for one day. Where are you going? Young master! Go back and stop following me. I don't want you around. But, young master... You heard me. Now leave me. Why don't you get closer to the fire? You must be cold. I'm all right. <laughs> Come on, give me some more wine. We've got to go soon. All right, here. One thing to really quench a traveler's thirst, and that's a cup of wine. But you look to me to have problems, too. Would you be talking to me, mister? Of course I'm talking to you. How do you know whether I have got problems? Because I am a student of life, my friend. I've seen it all. I have been to the four corners of the earth. I have learned to read men's faces and the thoughts behind them. You're a fortune teller, are you? How's business been? Yes, a fortune teller. Are you looking for your parent? That's right, I am. I don't know. But maybe you could help me find him. I'll pay whatever you should ask. That's easy. Now let me see. East, south, north, west. Now I've got it. <laughs> he is still right now. But where is he exactly? Uh, in 
in the southeast somewhere. I wonder why fortune tellers all sound the same. Uh -huh. I remember being told when I was much younger, I would find a husband in the southeast, and I'm still single. All right, that's enough silly talk. How do you see it, sir? Uh, leave the girl alone. I can see it written in her face, though, as clear as day. She will never get married. She will die a maid. A maid? I know you fortune tellers. You will tell me I will be rich one day if your palms cross with silver. You just say anything that suits you. May run. Uh, she is an ignorant peasant. Pay no attention to her. I must say, you're a pretty strange-looking fortune teller with that hat. What do you mean? It's exactly what a fake would wear, so no one sees his face. You're probably wanted for fraud by the cops. God damn you! What's that? <coughs> God damn you? Was that it? That's not very polite. That won't help you tell fortune. Mister, take off your hat. Tell me where my father is, or I'll be forced to kill you. All right, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. If you head due east of here, keep walking till you find a valley. He is there. You're lying. Oh, uh, uh, not. I swear it's true. Uh, uh, you better show us the way there, and we don't want any ambushes. Uh, Young master, I don't like it. It's a setup. I think I'd better go ahead of you. If I do see anything, I can let you know in plenty of time. You can't do that. Don't worry. I won't make a sound. No one will creep up on me. I failed before because I didn't want to kill them. But this time I feel no such compunction. Wait for me here. I'll be back soon. It shouldn't take me too long to see if anyone is up ahead. Mara! Mara! Don't worry. I'll be back soon. happens to me. You'll be sorry. Just you wait and see. Shut up and be still. I don't want you babbling. You already what would happen. Have you played any tricks? You are a fool. You'll never see that girl of yours alive again. What do you mean? You evil bastard. I'm afraid it's too late. There isn't anything you can do for her. I warned you not to play any tricks. I'm out here now. You better start showing me the way. Move and watch it.
So you are the boss. <laughs> That's right, I'm the boss. I'm glad that we finally meet. Ah. Well, no. I don't want to waste any more time with you. single member of my family. But you'll never get hold of that map, I swear it! Red light it! Now you understand, you have just one hour. Let's go. I can assure you it will go on. Or do you want to wait to find out? Think about it.
father. down on your knees and beg mercy, and just maybe I will spare your life. Oh, so at last I find myself with the mask fighting. If you're so sure of yourself, why don't you take your mask off? Go on, take a good look at me before I send you to hell. But you're just a girl. And you are a fool. The Shaolin Abbot sent me to protect Kin. I don't have time to play around with scum like you. Your wicked plans have failed. You're a ruined man. Why don't you just give up? <laughs> you shouldn't have spoken so soon. I'll make you pay for this. All right, lads. <sighs> Oh! <laughs> 
never seen this before. It's a magnetic dart. Ha, ha,
When you deliver the map to the abbot, come back quickly. Will you turn me away from your front door again? Oh. When we meet next time? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, I have to go now, too. All right. And you'd better not forget to bring her back with you. Don't worry, I won't. 